let's move on to item number 31. How many x intercepts does the graph of y equals x minus 1 quantity squared times x plus 1, x plus 3 quantity to the fourth have? Is it 2, 3, 5, or 6? We could see that the degrees here are 2 and 4. We are know it has 6 roots. However, when we speak about this um, number of x intercepts, it just take uh, it just we just need to get the number of distinct real roots. Here, there are only two distinct real roots. You equate this expression to zero, and you could see that you will get only one. N. So therefore, it has two x intercepts only, and that is letter A. Next up, if x plus y equals 0 and x squared plus y squared equals 1, what is x to the fourth plus y to the fourth? Is it 2 over 55, 1 over 16, 5 11, or 2.5? To answer this question, we will do algebraic manipulation. So we will square both sides of the first equation. So if you square this, if you square x plus y, that gives you x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals 0 squared or 0. From here as well, you could see that x squared plus y squared is equal to 1, right? So by substitution, and we have 2xy plus 1 equals 0. Subtracting both sides by 1, we have uh, 2xy equals negative 1, dividing by 2. So xy is negative 1 half. However, this is not the final answer because our goal is x to the fourth, y to the fourth. And raising to four both sides gives you x to the fourth, y to the fourth equals the fourth power of negative 1 half, which is 1 over 16. And that is letter B. 33. The product of two positive numbers is 12, and the sum of their squares is 25. <laughs> what is the square of the sum of these numbers? 18, 36, 49, or 54? What do you think? So from here, let's say the two numbers are x and y. So the product is 12, so xy equals 12, and the sum of their squares is x squared plus y squared equals 25. We are required to get the square of the sum. So that's x plus y quantity squared. But we know that x plus y quantity squared is equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. This is, in fact, an identity, right? So we can now do substitution. x squared plus y squared is 25. So we have it here. Plus, we still have 2xy, but xy here is 12. That's why we have 2 times 12 here. 2 times 12 is 24. So we have 25 plus 24, and hence the value of x plus y quantity squared is 25 plus 24, or 49, and that's letter C. Next one, if y varies directly as the cube of x and y equals 32 when x is 2, find y when x is 5. Is it 20, 64, 240, or 500? This is a variation problem. And to do this, we have to get the, the equation of variation and the constant of variation. In fact, there are many ways of doing this. So we have here y varies directly as the cube of x. It should be partnered with, uh, it should be here because it, it's directly. But if it's inversely proportional, then in the denominator of k. But for now, we have y equals kx cubed. With x equals 2, and when y equals 32, we substitute them to get the value of k. So we have 32 equals k times 2 cubed. 2 cubed is 8. And 
it becomes 32 equals 8k or this follows that k is 4. So we now have the value of k which is 4. So substituting or we have now to substitute the value of k which is 4 here. So you have the equation of variation which is y equals 4x cubed. And our questions asking, so what about the value of y when x is 5? When x is 5 now, by substitution, that's y equals 4 times 5 cubed. 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5 or 125. And that we have y equals 4 times 125 or 500. So when x is 5, then y has to be 500, letter D. Next one. Solve the system 3x minus 2y equals 15 and negative 5x plus 8y equals negative 11. Which of these values of x and y? To do this, <coughs> um, I let this as equations 1 and 2 uh, respectively. I multiplied 4 to each of the terms of equation 1. So I have 12x minus 8y equals 60. And I copy the second equation. Um, I multiplied four with the intention of eliminating y. So I have here minus, I have here plus. So to eliminate 8y, we should add both sides of our equation. And doing such gives, <coughs> uh, adding both sides, 12x plus negative 5x is 7x. Negative 8y plus 8y is zero. 60 plus negative 11 is 49. So 7x equals 49 here, dividing both sides by 7, that's x equals 7. Now that we have the value of x equals 7, we can now substitute it in any of these equations. I opted to substitute it in the first one. So with x equals 7, so that's 3 times 7 minus 2y equals 15. That's 21 minus 2y equals 15. Um, subtracting both sides by 21, I have negative 2y equals negative 6. Dividing both sides by negative 2, y is 3. Hence, x is 7 and y is 3, letter D. Next one. 36. The denominator of a fraction is 4 more than the numerator. If both the numerator and denominator of a fraction are increased by 1, the resulting fraction equals 1 half. Find the original fraction. Is it 1 4, 2 6, 3 7, or 4 8? We don't know yet what the numerator and denominator is, but one thing that we know is that the denominator is 4 more than the numerator. So if my numerator is x, I let the denominator as x plus 4. And x over x plus 4 is our original fraction. If you add 1 to that, that becomes x plus 1. Add 1 to both numerator and denominator. You have x plus 1 all over x plus 4 plus 1, which is 1 half. This simplifies to x plus 1 all over x plus 5, which is 1 half. Doing... Um, Multiplication property of equality or some sort of cross multiplication. X plus 1 times 2, that's 2x plus 2 equals x plus 5 times 1, which is x plus 5. And subtracting both sides by x and subtracting both sides by 2, we have <coughs> the value of x, which is 3. Hence, the correct answer here is 3. I mean, the original, the numerator is 3, and the denominator should be 3 plus 4 by substitu substitution here. 3 all over 3 plus 4, or 3 sevenths. That's letter C. If you try to add 1 to both numerator and denominator, it becomes 4 over 8, which is 1 half indeed. So we are sure that 3 sevenths is correct. 37. Find the y-intercept of 5y minus 3x equals 15. Is it negative 5 
negative 3, 3, or 5. Remember that y-intercept is the ordinate of a point uh, whose x value, whose abscissa is 0. So we let x be equal to 0 to solve for the y-intercept. And for such, we have 5y minus 3 times 0 equals 15. So 0 times 3 is just 0. So we have 5y equals 15 or y equals 3. Letter C is the correct answer. Next number. Which of the following represents the standard form of the linear equation? Is it y equals mx plus b? ax plus by equals c, ax plus by plus c equals zero, or x over a plus y over b equals one. Let's discuss it. The first form is what we call the slope intercept form, where m is a slope and b is the y intercept. The correct answer here is letter b. The form ax plus by plus c equals zero is what we call general form. And the x over a plus y over b equals 1 is what we call intercept form, where a is the x-intercept, b is the y-intercept, and that x and that a and b should not be equal to 0. Hence, the correct answer here is letter B. Next one. Find a linear equation whose x and y intercepts are negative 4 and 7, respectively. Here, negative 4 is the x intercept. So it's A. And our y intercept is 7, so B is 7. So A is negative 4 and B is 7, small letters A and B. And based on the previous slide, we could actually utilize the intercept form which is x over a plus y over b equals 1. By substitution, take note huh, that you can only use this if you are given the x and y intercepts and that none of them should is 0. And for such, by substitution, you have x over negative 4 plus y over 7 equals 1. Multiplying both sides by negative 28 or multiplying each term by negative 28, with the purpose of uh, clearing of fractions. So x over negative 4 times negative 28, it's 7x. y over 7 times negative 28, it's negative 4y. 1 times negative 28, it's negative 28. Hence, 7x minus 4y equals negative 28 is our desired answer, letter C. Let's have number 40. Which of the following represents a quadratic equation? Is it C equals 2 pi r? C equals square root of a squared plus b squared? A equals pi r squared? Uh, or Z equals x plus 11 all over x minus 8? Um, what I meant here is equation or function. Okay, that will do. When we say quadratic function, it is a function of degree two. The first one, the highest exponent of your variable is one. So this is linear. Here, this is what we call an example of a square root function because we have here a square root and we have your radicand here. Letter C is our desired answer. We have area equals A equals pi r squared because the highest exponent of your independent variable is 2. And for letter D, Z equals x plus 11 over x minus 8 is an example of what we call rational function. Letter C is the correct answer here. 